Hello from the music interview corner. We're still at the back entrance of the Whiskey A Go Go and now with Mark from Soulfly. Hi Mark. Hello, hi. Thank you for taking time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How is this tour going? Excellent. It's been a really good tour. It's been about three weeks around the US and uh, we're having a great time. You know, it's always uh, a pleasure to tour the US. I just had a very fun interview with Richie mm -hmm. from Inside. How is it for you to be on tour with Inside? It's great. I've known them forever, you know, and uh, they're a great band and it's it's always a lot of fun to tour with those guys. How did you get the idea for your band name, Soulfly? Uh, that wasn't me. I, You know, that was Max. You know, he started the band in like 97 and I joined in like 2003. And spirituality mm -hmm. is a big topic in the music of Soulfly and also in your solo albums. Oh. What role does it play in your life, in your personal life? Um... Are you spiritual? I don't know, you know, kind of, I guess. I was brought up Catholic, you know, but uh, I don't, I'm probably not a very good Catholic. I don't know. <laughs> I believe in music. I believe in guitar playing, you know. I uh, believe in Jimi Hendrix. He's my guy. And you also published four solo albums now. Yes. What, what kind of experience was that for you? Uh, awesome, you know, because I, I love... <clears throat> instrumental guitar music mm -hmm. that's really the music that I, I listen to a lot guys like Joe Satriani um, so it's I, I put out my, my latest one on combat records called rotation and it's just uh, it's heavy instrumental guitar music um, and I mix it mm -hmm. kind of with like acoustic stuff and it's just uh, it's a lot of fun and I enjoy doing those records and and performing them live also mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what is for you the biggest difference between performing in Soulfly or in another band and performing solo um, it's all the same really for me, but solo is more, you know, I get to <clears throat> maybe have a little more freedom. I get to travel on my, on my own. Oh, we got a fire coming. At least they're coming. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, a little bit more just, uh, you know, it's a solo thing. So I get to do a little bit more of, you know, things the way I want to do things, you know. And you're also in uh, Cavalera Conspiracy with Max together. Yes. And how is it for you? Because I feel that all these three projects, your instrumental solo albums and Soulfly and uh, Cavalera Conspiracy, they all go kind of in different directions of metal. Mm. How is that for you? It's great. You know, the play with Max and Igor is awesome. You know, it's like a dream come true. I was a big Sepultura fan as a kid. So uh, for me, it's, it's incredible to, to be in that project also. It keeps me busy and um, keeps me, you know, practicing, rehearsing, writing. Uh, so it's, it's cool. I like having a lot of projects you know I, I i could even use more you know i would love to do more stuff in the future too because I, i just love playing guitar all day long and mm -hmm. for me it's easy it's fun and um i'd love to do more more projects with other people and other bands too oh cool and if you could work with any musician dead or alive who would it be um wow <laughs> so many um Jimi Hendrix? Of course, Hendrix, yeah. I would love to maybe jam to Dimebag, you know, he was one of my favorite guitar players. Um, you name it, you know, Slayer. I would have loved to play with Slayer. They're, they're one of my favorite bands. Overkill is one of my favorite bands. I'd love to jam with them. Um, you name it, man. I, I, I love so many different musicians and bands, so I'd, I'd love to work with a lot of people. And you also love to be approachable for your fans. You take a lot of time for your fans. Why is that important to you? Um, because I like to hang out, you know, I'm a, I'm a type of dude that likes to, you know, when the show's over, I like to be social and hang out, and to me that's what metal's about, is, you know, it's a social thing, it's a, it's a, it's a brotherhood thing, it's about getting off stage and just hanging out with people at the bar and just, just kill, you know, kicking it, talking, <laughs> good times, joking around, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's what I like to do, you know, when I go to a show, it's about having a good time, it's not about, uh, anything else other than enjoying myself, having fun, and, and, and meeting people, and, and, uh, being social. And what was the best moment for you on this tour, on this North America tour? Huh. I'm trying to think about what I could talk about, what I can't talk about. Yeah, we don't want to get you arrested or something. <laughs> um, probably just, you know, it's, it's always a lot of fun to tour the U.S. Things are very convenient here for touring musicians. And um, probably I just got a lot of friends, you know, in every city. So, um, you know, we usually, you know, I get to jam all day, play guitar, and then hang with all my friends, you know. Usually, I'll, sometimes I'll go to the gym with my friends early in the day, and then at night, go out and party with my friends and have a good time. And how old were you when you get your very first guitar? Uh, eight years old. Oh. I was young, yeah. Yeah, I got a first guitar. It was like an acoustic guitar my parents bought me, and they paid for me to take guitar lessons, you know. And I, um, from that day on, when I picked up the guitar at eight, That's all I ever wanted to do, you know. It, it, it. Um, I don't. I've never. I don't. I've never gone a day without playing guitar. You know, for me, it's just. Uh, I've been addicted to it since I was eight years old. 
So that's amazing. Do you get kind of cold turkey if someone would take your guitar away from you? Absolutely. I don't go anywhere without a guitar. Yeah, I gotta wake up. I drink coffee and I play guitar all day. That's my my uh, my passion. It's what I love to do. Just guys that you know behind the store, right behind the store, Mark has three guitars, so that he won't be without guitar for too long. And what is the craziest thing you ever did on tour in your life? Well, there's there's so many, so many crazy things. Um, I don't know, you know, some things I could talk about, some things I, I probably shouldn't talk about, you know. Okay. I think other people have, have stories about me and, you know, they're probably better off telling some of the my crazy stories, you know. And uh, what do you love most about each of your bandmates and other things you don't like? My bandmates are cool. Everyone's cool, you know. I, I can't say anything bad, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Everyone's cool. They're great guys because they all shower every day. They're all very, it's very, cleanliness is very important in our band. So you have kind of a, a good smell in your bus? Yes, it's, oh, our bus smells great. <laughs> oh, it's incredible, yeah, yeah. And are there things, is there something you might want to share in this interview that you have never told in an interview and that not many people know about you? Oh, you're going to get me in trouble now. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, let me think. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I'm pretty, what you see is what you get with me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the uh, same person on stage as I am off stage, so, uh, you know. That's about it. I'm I'm simple dude, simple kid from New Jersey that just got lucky doing what he loves to do. So. What is uh, the best experience you ever had with a fan? Whew. <laughs> um. I don't know. Too many. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Uh. <laughs> really got me thinking here you know I can't tell every story obviously I mean there's a lot you yeah. know but uh, I really appreciated one time after a gig uh, a fan in Europe gave me a little tuner mm -hmm. you know one of those kind you uh, they call them like a snark or something you put them on top of your your headstock and I thought that was really cool I mean I, at first I was like what am I out of tune why are you giving me a tuner you know but then it was like I never had one of those little ones you know and I still have it so Thank you to the dude that gave it to me. It was uh, it was really cool. You know, it's cool to have a fan come to a show and give you a piece of of gear that is useful. You know, usually it's me giving picks out and stuff. You know, but this fan was really cool. He was like, "Hey, man, here you go." Or I had another fan. Sometimes fans bring me hats. I'm a hat kind of guy. You know. Is this from a fan? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm wow. a hat guy. It keeps my hair out of my face. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> so so, bring me a hat. You know, baseball teams, football teams. I like rocking hats. That's cool too. I think now you will get like uh, tons of hats probably. After That's cool. This that way I don't got to buy them, you know. Oh, and shirts too. I always get, well, this is an affliction shirt. I like that company a lot. My good friend Jose hooked me up with this. Uh, but I love when, when kids, you know, they give me their local band shirts and I rock them on stage, you know, as long as they're cool and they're black, you know, not like pink or something, you know. Cool. So. Oh, yeah, actually, pink. Our logo is pink, but never Oh, mind. yeah, okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> what are your plans for the future? Just to keep doing what I'm doing. I, I'm, you know, again, I'm a lucky dude to be able to do this for a living and um, just I want to continue making music, you know, my, my solo project, the Soulfly Records, maybe some new oh. projects. What's up, man? Hello. And, uh, We're doing an interview. No, never mind. Cool. I'm sorry. We're almost finished. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, the future would be just uh, to keep doing what I'm doing, you know, and um, my solo project, which, you know, I'm real passionate about, you know, mm -hmm. playing instrumental guitar music, working with Soulfly, and maybe some new projects, too, in the future. I'd love to work with, you know, a lot of other bands and projects, and i got tons of ideas for recording, and, and uh, I love touring, so I just want to keep doing this, you know. Cool. I'm still looking forward to your show tonight. Cool. Thank you so much, Mark. And Thank you. Goodbye from the Music Interview Corner.